You know, you're definitely giving up some of the perks of, of the, uh, the big guys. You know, you could expect less food, less luggage allowances. Um, you might have to choose your seats when you get there. So it's not going to be like flying British Airways, but um, you're getting a cheaper fare and you're getting a great seat. So AirAge is actually based out of Malaysia. And what they've done is they've launched a new, entirely new airline called AirAsia X. And that's their long haul airline based out of Kuala Lumpur. And they're flying to uh, Australia right now. And we can expect them to maybe even fly all the way to London and throughout Europe in the coming year. A lot of business class travelers are probably thinking, this is not the way, way to go for me. Is that correct or no? Well, it is the way to go for you. Why? Because most of these airlines have also introduced a business class. So, for example, Virgin has a premium class that is, you know, basically just as good as, as the, uh, the major carriers. They have uh, seats with, that are almost the same size, if not the same size, as American United. They have massage features because Virgin likes to keep things a little sexy. <laughs> I love that, yeah. And yeah, they yeah. have uh, uh, plugs so you can work on your laptop during the entire stay. And they include food and they include yeah. 3,000 different um, MP3s and 20 different movies. The Dominican Republic is undergoing a huge uh, image upgrade right now. We're going to have a Ritz Carlton, Four Seasons, Trump. The first hotel to open there is the Maxim Bungalows with 108 high-end bungalows right on the beach. So how do we get there? Well, who are the good airlines to, to try and fly on? Well, of course, you know, Americans, the big airlines serving the Caribbean, and they have new flights this year to places like uh, St. Lucia, St. Kitts. JetBlue is also launching service to St. Martin, to Puerto Plata and the Dominican Republic. Delta has new service to um, places like Cancun from Hartford and to Guanacaste in Costa Rica. So a lot of airlines now are really beefing up their schedules so they can get us there easily and in style. Number two on your list is actually people who want to come visit us, right, here in New York? You have exactly. New York. What's the, what's the New York suggestion? There's a new hotel that opened about a year ago called The London, and um, it has a real uh, roster of designer talent who've uh, participated in making this a really special place. People might remember it as the Regal Royal Hotel. Uh, David Collins, who is the designer who created Nobu in London, right. he's created the interiors. Mexico City's really had a big upgrade. Uh, it used to be known as a destination that was a little dodgy, and over the last few years, it's become the hottest city in North America and much of that is because of the Hotel Condesa de Efe. And then there's Miami. Miami. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, which is one of mm -hmm. uh, Miami's uh, premier five-star hotels, uh, the action in Miami is shifting away from the beach and into the downtown where all the art galleries are, where the new Carnival performance, uh, Performing Arts Center is. And one of the uh, standout hotels in the downtown is the Mandarin Oriental. Obviously, you travel the world, you find all this good stuff for us. South Africa. South Africa. What'd you find? Well, number one, one of the good things about South Africa, it's still one of those rare places where our dollar is worth something, so you get a lot for your buck. You can basically practice your golf swing while looking at African wildlife. They even have a private jet that will pick you up from anywhere in the world and take you to the golf resorts. Yeah. Now, New Zealand is known for quite a few things. It's known for wine, it's known for its wildlife, but also it's really becoming a player in the golf arena. We know a lot about people going to Mexico for medication and pharmaceuticals. Well, they're going there also to get their eyes done. Uh, LASIK surgery, uh, which is one of the most popular plastic surgeries or cosmetic surgeries that people do these days. Um, in the United States, we're looking at $1,000 to $2,000 per eye. In Mexico, it can be between three and $500 per eye. By going to Singapore, you're quite close to uh, sun and fun destinations like Bali or Thailand where you can recover. And many companies are offering trips to Singapore for the operation and then a trip to Bali or Thailand to recover afterward. India has a very big medical tourism infrastructure because it's luring a lot of wealthy Arabs from the Gulf and from that region. And what you're seeing in India is the ability to do everything from knee replacements to shoulder replacements. There's one hospital called Boomgrund Hospital in Bangkok, which actually receives 66,000 foreign patients a year. The place is like a five-star hotel with luxury suites. They even have a Starbucks there. Even a hotel that says they're fully booked is probably not fully booked. You have to remember, I spoke with a general manager last week who told me that every day they anticipate between 8 and 10% no-shows. 
The general managers need to fill those rooms. And even on a busy holiday like Thanksgiving, there are going to be no-shows. So it's worth to call the hotel directly, to ask if they're offering any special deals, and ask if you qualify for any sort of corporate rate. For example, I'll be flying on Christmas Day for my Christmas trip. So it's definitely a good idea to make the most of a low period at, at, uh, at the airports. Yeah. This is prime time for cruising right now, isn't it? Absolutely. Winter time, let's go get warm. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, 12.6 million Americans took cruises last year, and the cruise lines are going all out to, uh, to keep them on their boats. Carnival, for example, has a, has a new four-deck, 300-foot uh, water slide on one of their, on one of their boats. Uh, Disney has uh, a Mickey splash zone on one of their boats with uh, water statues and water, water facilities for the kids. And Royal Caribbean even offers um, huge joint cabins for families that can hold up to 14 Perfect. different people. Business class airlines, are they having any success? A absolutely. You know, we, we started out with having four players in the market. We're down to three. But it's all about the segmentation of the luxury airline market. It's no longer enough for travelers to fly in business class or first class. What they want are all business class cabins, which only business class seats, only business class passengers. Clearly, the, the major carriers are not sitting by idly. In fact, uh, European airlines such as Lufthansa, KLM, and Swiss already have their own all business class uh, operations. There? It was a very interesting experience. You know, you have this really tragic history in Rwanda, which is not so long ago. But on the other hand, you have an incredible amount of hope with the people there. I personally went on a four-hour trek. I saw 35 gorillas. In four hours? Well, That's it took amazing. four hours to get there. Yeah, this is a really hotel mean. that cost $350 million to build. Rooms started at $1,000. It's a $700 breakfast. And there's a company in Chile called the Explorer Company, which really revolutionized luxury travel in Chile. They've opened a new lodge on Easter Island, which is about a five our flight into the Pacific uh, west of, of Santiago. People don't realize is that it's not just Brazil that has the Amazon. Two-thirds of Peru is covered by the Amazon as well. And this is one of the first luxury cruises that takes you on three, four, and seven-day adventures through the Amazon to see rare wildlife and 200-year-old trees and 400-foot-high uh, rainforest canopies. So it's quite impressive. Maya Cobra recently opened about a month ago on what's being called the Mayan Riviera. This is the area around Cancun, but not in Cancun itself. It's Mexico's attempt to kind of give an adult face to this part of, uh, of, of the country. I was in Costa Rica about f four years ago. I stayed at the Four Seasons. Nearby, a new, a new property called the Recreo has just opened. And we should keep our eye out for this area. Steve Case of AOL fame mm -hmm. is investing $800 million in a huge new resort there. And um, even Mel Gibson bought some property there recently. Thank you.